guys, so before this video starts, I just wanted to jump in here and quickly remind you guys to please leave a like on the video if you enjoy, and also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for daily Heartland videos and season 16 updates. We are so close to 24,500 subscribers, so if you guys could please subscribe, I would really, really appreciate that. A lot of my audience who watches my videos is not actually subscribed to my channel, so if you're already watching my videos, why not subscribe? I would really, really appreciate that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The following clip that you're about to see is from Graham Wardle's most recent Instagram live. I believe it was two days ago now and yeah I just wanted to share this clip with you guys and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Enjoy. So many so many great points in that little uh, short conversation there um, but the, the one that I just wanted to kind of underline again is and Andrew just kind of blazed through it was this idea of um, being programmed or like you know I was just trying to say my in my own way there when you are, you believe that you want something, the, the society, television, media, they shape these narratives and they get you to believe something. And like Andrew was saying, you gotta get the facts and how do you get the right facts and how do you analyze them? And we are, I believe, uh, and I think a lot of others, probably a lot of you here would believe and say as well that we are in a war of narratives right now. There is so much going on to shape your emotional attachment to information and perspective and if you just take it, you know, believe whatever you see, the first thing that you see, um, it's very hard to actually get the real facts, actually to see what's actually going on. And um, as my mom would say when I was a kid, there's always two sides to the story. And so there's always two things going on. And once you see both sides, you're like, oh, OK, doesn't mean like this side's perfect and this side's like completely evil. Um, but there is there is. Um, there's something going on that's, it's, it's gray. And my mom would always tell me that too. She'd say, Graham, it's not black or white, it's gray. So um, there's always more to the story, so to speak. So anyways, um, I thought that was a really good point about um, using your discernment and building that muscle of deciphering information because we live, we're going through what I think is like a world war. And it's a, it's a war that's fought in the mind and in the spirit. And there's so much misinformation um, and, and deception that's going on and um, uh, gaslighting as well. But it's, it's really tough. And if you don't spend, you know, a ton of time on it, you just see what, you know, somebody posts here, somebody posts there, and you don't take the time to go look at the other side and see what they're saying. It's easy to get caught in like those echo chambers where you, you only see the perspective from uh, that one side that you already know. And it reinforces that because that's the way these social media uh, platforms work is they want to keep you watching. They want to keep you on. So they will show you content that, that um, aligns with you in that way so that it sticks you or gets you angry. That's another thing. They try and sensationalize it because um, fear and anger keeps people <laughs> engaged longer. So understanding how our brain works, like Andrew was talking about, understanding how we can, uh, the narrative is shaped, um, can really make a difference. And then um, prayer or meditation is to kind of zoom out and see what's actually going on is super important for people to um, to decipher and to discern and to navigate this world that we're living in right now because it is so crazy with misinformation and conflicting narratives and such. So, wow, that was fantastic. Didn't expect that. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me here. I was just meaning to do this for a little bit of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed that update from Graham. I know that Graham is no longer a part of Heartland when it comes to the present storyline, uh, but I still consider him to be a part of the Heartland cast because he was a part of the show for such a long time. And I know that a lot of Heartland fans uh, still want to know what Graham is up to and um, know what uh, is next for him when it comes to uh, possible acting or possible uh, new shows or stuff like that. So that is why I want to keep you guys up to date on what is going on with Graham. And that is, of course, why I shared this uh, post with you guys. Like I said, I know he's no longer a part of the Heartland cast. And I try my best to keep you guys as up to date as possible on everything Heartland related. But as I said, I, I, st I still do consider Graham to be a part of the Heartland show because he was a part of the show for such a long time. And as I said, I know a lot of Heartland fans still uh, are very interested in what is next for him and what he is up to now. So with that being said, that is all I have for today's video. I apologize. Uh, to those of you guys that are longtime subscribers, that there is 
not a lot of videos being posted on my channel recently. That is simply because there's nothing going on with Heartland. We're waiting for Heartland to uh, season 16 to start filming. And every other show I talk about, I'm also waiting uh, for the show to start filming. And new shows that I find, I find out are cancelled. So I'm like, okay, well there's really no use in talking about it now. So yeah. So I apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I try my best to come up with a um original content for you guys and uh, come up with, you know, videos that are not, that don't have a clickbaity title or anything like that. So I do apologize for the lack of videos, but I do try my best to come up with the best videos possible. And sometimes that means not posting every single day because there's just nothing that is worth talking about. But that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.